Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. Welcome, welcome. For those of you who are coming back, welcome back. And for those of you who are new, welcome. Don't forget to like this video if you find it helpful and join the fam. Okay, so today's video, I'm sorry if I'm kind of like laughing. I was going through a couple of my videos that I just recorded today and it was kind of funny because I didn't really mean, I don't know how these bloggers do it, but I didn't mean to put the camera in this man's face. I think I made him feel awkward. Obviously, I, I felt awkward recording him. I did not try to record him. I tried to record his hands, but as he was weighing this stuff, his face came out there because it's like the counter was kind of high. So <laughs> I was just checking. So I asked him for his permission too, though, first, if I if he didn't mind me recording. He said no, but it was still actually really awkward recording and uh, his face is like right there, but as he's measuring it. Okay, so I went to the grocery store today and I got some meats and it just kind of I just kind of thought about saving money like the way the things that I do to save money on groceries the things that I do to save money on clothes other stuff it's just there's different things that I do because my family is kind of a big family and it's I like to save money I'm pretty sure a lot of you guys like to save money and it's just a lot easier on everybody to do certain things if you don't I don't like to waste food so basically I take certain steps to not waste as much food okay so one of the things that i do is that well i thought i would give this information to you guys because i use it and i know it'll come in handy i have been asked how is it that i save money all the time i'm always talking about not wasting food how do i do it okay so basically what i do is that i end up going to we call it the mexican store in each state I'm in Minnesota, so I'm just going to call it a Mexican store, okay? So you go to a Mexican grocery store, and if you like to do portions, let's say one person, two people, three people, four people, you can ask them specifically exactly how much you want. If you are just one person, and let's say you go to like a Cub Foods or you go to like a Walmart, they're already measured and they're packaged. And sometimes if you're just a one person, you don't need all that extra meat. And then it just goes to waste when you thaw it out and then you go, you cook it. It's like, it just goes to waste, right? Or sometimes you need more, but then there's packages that are like way too big. And then some of them are even like really expensive to the point where it's like, wow, this is crazy. So my secret, what I do, the steps that I do is that I go to a Mexican store, Mexican grocery store, because they have the meats all set out. I am going to put it here on the side how they have it. I did record. I recorded part. I recorded parts of the store, how it's set up and what they do. They have the meats all set out. Okay. Now it is behind a glass. So then that way you don't, uh, they don't get contaminated by you know, just people just walking by, coughing, trying to touch it, you know, poke at it. No, it's all covered. It's all behind a glass. Then you go, you ask the person to give you exactly the amount that you want. Now, what I did do is that I recorded a couple of um, parts where I asked him for stuff. I, when I got home, I put it all together, okay? But just to show you guys an example of how easy this is, and it's just, it's amazing. If it's just one person, let's say if you want, you want to eat something that has ground beef or chicken, let's say uh, for people who love chicken, for people who love ground beef, taco meat, uh, shrimp, fish, they have it, they have all of it. They have pork, they have chicken, they have fish, they have shrimp, they have uh, pig skin. Um, I love pig skin. It sounds gross, I know, to people who don't eat that. But yeah, it. I think it's really, really good. Okay, so I will be putting up here in little bits and everything. It's going to be popping up here. Um, how I asked for it. And basically, if you want just, let's say, a quarter of a pound of chicken, you could get that. Now, it might sound like like you're going to be bothering them and everything like that, but actually you're not. 
it's their job. They applied for this position. They know exactly what they're doing and they have the scales, which they will weigh it right in front of you so you can know exactly what amount you're getting. And if you ask them, let's say a quarter of a pound or half a pound, 75% of a pound, three quarters, it does not matter. Even if you ask them for one pound of each meat, they will literally sit there and separate each one for you. They will weigh it, then they will mark the price on there. Now I did post the price, I did turn it around. I'm gonna pop it over here again <laughs> so you guys can see the pricing on the chicken and then the pricing on the ground beef. You can, I asked for it so that that way you guys can see that it's very easy. Don't feel like you're bothering them. It's their job and they're used to this. So don't feel awkward asking them like, hey, you know, um, I want a quarter of a pound of chicken. Guess what? You're going to get it. You want a quarter pound, quarter of a pound of chicken? You got it. You want a quarter of a pound of ground beef? You got it. That is actually what I do to save money for my family on groceries. It makes it a lot easier because then the next thing, all we have to do is get rice or get beans. Uh, we get tortillas, we get bread, we get, I get different stuff to be able to bring the meals together. Certain meals, we do not need a bunch of stuff. You know, we don't need like pounds and pounds of meat or if to have to buy like several packages of meat and then some of it goes to waste, it doesn't. Why? Because you, I just write out a list of what exactly I'm going to want and what well actually like the meals that I'm going to make and then I know exactly how much I'm going to need because of how many people we have. So this is actually really really perfect for people who are going to shop for one person, two people, three people, four people, you name it. They you can even ask for 10 pounds, 20 pounds, 30 pounds and they also have the parts of the animals that normally in regular grocery stores you wouldn't find. Like this right here, the pig head. Um, I did see that and I did kind of record it. I didn't want to make it too awkward, awkward because I was recording something else, but I didn't want to like zoom in on the pig's head, but they also sell pig's head. They sell um, different parts of the animal and everything, like whatever you want. If you want the intestines, if you want the skin, if you want the little meats, if you want um, the, the pork skins too. Um, they sell everything, like all the parts of the animal, it's there. You want it, you got it. It's that there at your hand, in <laughs> your fingertips. I'm sorry, I'm getting all tongue twisted here. But yeah, it's just all there. So if you want that, go ask for it. They'll give it to you. They, they won't even look at you weird because they're used to all this stuff. So yeah, I hope this video was helpful. Don't forget to hit that like button and you guys have a good rest of your day.